Hello Eastview Scholars, welcome back to Photosynthesis. In our last video we did a general overview, which you can see here, where light energy comes in and gets converted into chemical energy in the thylakoids and uh, produces ATP and uh, the reducing agent NADPH to go into the Kalman cycle to drive the production of sugars. What we're going to look at here um, in this video quickly is the light re independent reactions that happen through photosystems. What you can see right here, there are two photosystems. The, they're not labeled, they're labeled by discovery, not in order. The first one is photosystem two, the second one is photosystem one. And what you can see here is the light energy coming in, and there's a splitting of water that provides some electrons, as we'll talk about. And then hydrogen uh, is pumped into the lumen, and that becomes the uh, chemiosmotic uh, pH difference that allows for ATP production. The second photosystem then doesn't produce ATP, but you can see it produces the reducing agent that goes to the Kelvin cycle. Okay. So let's take a look. What's a photosystem? Well, it's really a large complex of proteins with uh, uh, pigment molecules in them. And these light harvesting complexes can do a whole lot more than just isolated pigments. Uh, and broaden the spectrum and the surface area of what they do. But what you can see is a photon of energy comes in from light, and what it does is it gets passed along. It excites an electron, which excites electrons next to it, and, and all these uh, light harvesting complexes and all these pigments, eventually landing at a couple of special chlorophyll A molecules that are designed in this reaction center to excite an electron to its excited state, but then be uh, picked up by a primary electron acceptor. And, and the reason that these are special is it's not only that they can allow uh, an electron to be excited, but then they need to, uh, but then they can transfer it also, which these pigments couldn't do. But surrounding this reaction center does provide for a larger uh, base of light to come in. Um, and then as we'll see, the splitting of the water needs to replace these uh, special chlorophyll molecules, the electrons that transfer in here. Okay. Now there's two types of flow, and we'll look at linear first because that's generally it's cyclic. Uh, cyclical does not uh, produce any NADPH or reduce things, and you'll see that in like uh, bacteria and stuff like that. It, it's believed to be an early one. What our photosynthetic plants are looking at is a linear electron flow that goes from photosystem two to photosystem one and then their products, ATP and NADPH, get sent off to the Kalman cycle. Okay, In those first, in Photosystem 2's uh, reaction center, chlorophyll A's, the, the, it's called the P680 because that is the best in the red range uh, wavelength that activates that special chlorophyll A. In Photosystem 1, it's P700. And when it gets excited, it's called P680+. Plus. And it's a huge, it's probably the strongest oxidizing agent known uh, because it really wants to fill that hole. So you can see what's happening here. Is light's coming in, and it's being passed, uh, that photon is exciting electrons being passed along through that complex and excites the P680 to the primary acceptor. And that is going to take the electron, and, and we're going to see it's going to pass along an electron transport chain over to uh, photosystem one. Um, but what happens here is you get this very strong oxidizing agent that needs to replace the electrons that were gone. And that's why you split water. Okay. So P680, very strong. The water is split by enzymes. You get two electrons uh, and hydrogens and an oxygen, which quickly binds with another oxygen to make the oxygen byproduct that is released but you have to reduce this back down so it can be used again. It's got this big electron hole in it that needs to be replaced. And then it passes that along from the primary acceptor down the electron transport chain to PS1, and that energy fall then drives that proton gradient and produces the and drives the ATP synthesis that you need to do the anabolic processes of the Kelvin um, uh, cycle. 
So here's what you can see. These cytochrome complexes are very much the same as they are in uh, the cell respiration electron transport chain. It's just breaking that fall through more electronegative things, uh, comp, uh, proteins all the way down. Um, eventually it will get to photosystem one here. Um, and that's photophosphorylation. So here's, we've seen the whole thing here. Here comes the light, exciting, 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 uh, till they reach here, the P680, jump that up to a primary acceptor, which takes the electron and passes it along. You need to split the water to replace the electrons here and reduce it back down so it's available to use again. Okay, And then again, this is just an electron transport chain that breaks the fall of that energy um, to drive uh, the ATP process and create, uh, bring in and pump in some hydrogen ions along with the ones that are there and drive the production of, of chemiosmosis and the ATP. PS1, like PS2, transfer light. Um, it has accepted an electron from PS2, but it also has its own uh, 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 pigments that are accepting and passing along to its uh, um, uh, reaction center. And then P700 plus is the missing electron that accepts an electron pass from PS2. Okay, so really that's the job of it. So you can see here it gets excited, 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 electron up. How do I reduce this so it's functional again? Here's where it came from. Okay, So again, quickly, light comes in, excites uh, the light harvesting complex, excites that electron up. It gets passed along here. Water is used to reduce that and get that going again. You pass down the electron transport chain, drive the chemiosmosis making of ATP, replace one of the excited electrons here to reduce that back down so it's ready to go again. And then in PS2, that passes along to another chain. It falls down that chain and it lands at a at ferredoxin um, uh, complex which then reduces NADP, 10 ADPH, which it can pass along to the Calvin cycle. Um, and also removes uh, hydrogen from the stroma. So here you go. There you go. You can see the whole complex here, photosystem two, photosystem one. It's a nice linear thing. We've made it very simplistic here. Um, it is a very complex process. We've tried to make you understand it in a more simplistic thing. You see two electron transport chains that are breaking the fall of that energy. Remember in general photosynthesis we said if these things are, are if pigments are separated you see colors fluoresce. You don't see the colors fluoresce here because they're tied in with all these proteins. But then I, I produce ATP, I produce NADPH and I can send them off to the Calvin cycle to drive that. That's non-cyclic electron flow linear uh, or it's called a Z scheme. And you can see in this illustration that's in your book really what's happening. Photon comes in, excite that electron, pass it along. Uh, photo, photons have come in here, ex uh, excited that electron, pass it along. Uh, water replaces this missing one. Uh, photosystem 2 replaces this missing electron. ATP is driven and ADPH is driven. And there's the whole thing again. All in the uh, membrane of the chloroplast and thylakoid. Okay. Cyclic electron flow um, uses only photosystem 1 and produces ATP but not NADPH. No oxygen is released. This as you can see it here what happens is um, um, as it hits the primary electron acceptor there's a ferredoxin here that puts it back into the electron drop down and drives that. And here you're looking at uh, they believe this is a, um, a um, early evolution of cyclic flow um, for organisms such as purple and sulfur bacteria. Okay, it is used in some. It is you find it present in some plants besides bacteria and stuff now, and some of that might be a light-inducing damage. Anyhow, that uh, gets us through our. Um, photosystems, scholar on Eastview.